Hello my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. I am at Ryerson Woods, or Ryerson Conservation Area, in Riverwoods, Illinois. So yeah, 4.5 miles ahead of us. Uh, lots of different uh, plants and trees uh, on this preserve. Let's go see what we can see. Peace. So this is the first thing you see along the trail that goes around the Bushwood. It's not Bushwood. Bushwood is the country club in Caddyshack. <laughs> <laughs> Brushwood. <laughs> oh, here's Brush the map. Wood. It's Brushwood. Brushwood, yeah. There's no gambling at Bushwoods. <laughs> Yeah, this is the first thing you see along the trail. We're here in March, so things are not in full bloom. It rained uh, all, not all yesterday, but it rained yesterday night, it rained this morning. All right, we're making our way, and this building. This must be the Ryerson home. You think so? Well, it looks like a home. It does look like a home. So I opened up here, we're at the smaller parking lot, uh, pit toilets, so I assume maybe it's running water. But uh, there's some crossings here as well, so we need to kind of figure out what we are doing. That little circle. So the circle, the smaller inner circle that we're taking, started at the White Barns, we went to the forest, come this, back up here. And this is the Brushwood Center. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah? I just want to say, you know, uh, before we go camping, ooh, especially if we're, if I'm camping alone or it's just uh, sometimes the two of us, you know, grandma's always like, you know, you guys be careful. There's crazy people out there. And, uh, hey, grandma, sorry. I didn't, mean to, grandma. <laughs> didn't mean to copy you like that. But uh, I always keep reminding her that, you know, we're like the people that others are afraid of. It's not that we should be afraid of others so much as like, I mean, not that we're doing anything bad. It's just we're basically two, you know, reasonably strong, healthy guys. And if mischief were to be made, we would probably fit that that profile. But uh, but we're not doing we're mischief. Not, we're not we're, doing mischief. No. We're not doing. We are the ones you're gonna see, but we're not doing anything. Uh, we're, the, we're the good guys. But I always I always laugh when grandma's like, you guys be careful. Think we should go to the road? Yeah. Okay. Self-guided maple syrup trail. Uh, speaking of which, I had some maple butter this morning. Oh, did you? Yeah, Good I for you. <laughs> I had some homemade toast, bread toast. And I put uh, the pear cinnamon, pear cinnamon jelly from oh. UP on there. Yeah, so I forgot about that. Sorry. Yeah. But we had I uh, made you some good sandwiches, right? Yeah, we just I just had some. We both had the rhubarb and sunflower butter in the car, and then we had a third extra sandwich for Ryan, which was the the pumpkin apricot confit that came from Switzerland. Yeah. Yup. <laughs> With sunflower butter. Sunflower butter. That's what we're gonna be up to in our way. All right, we are now moving from the inner path to the outer path. That looks like a nice gathering area, but I, I thought we were supposed to go by the cabins. Well, we'll go by the gathering area, look at the map. And we'll oh, no, it goes to the council ring. Oh, this is, okay. The council ring, and then this. we go left past the cabins and around. Okay. Classroom cabins, that's what they call that. All right, so we are now coming up the council ring if you're still watching this video it's been an extra long <laughs> video 
All right, we're behind. We're behind the cabins now. We're doing the uh, northernmost uh, loop of the of the area here, and it seems to all be on boardwalk. Which does make this pretty easy. Definitely. And, you know, I gotta say for the most part, if you kept the, the hike kind of within the boardwalk, this would be a good march hike for almost anybody. I, I'm hoping to put this into our March article. Yeah, I think it should go there. Or April, certainly April. Uh... I know we talked about the Des Plaines River. We haven't gotten there yet, but... 1996. They made this when I was born. <laughs> this is going to be the hike where we reminisce about all of our other hikes. Yeah. Where were we where I kept... Uh, well, that was a... Let me finish the sentence. Yeah. That was Indiana Dunes. Okay. Uh, the long hike. The... the 12 mile hike. Glenwood Dunes. Glenwood Dunes. Where I kept slipping on all the bridges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. Alright, this makes it a little harder here. This is after the boardwalk ends. You're in trouble. Hey, you know what we were doing a year ago? Today, uh, tomorrow? No. Uh, we hiked to Evanston. I think that's when we had Mustard's last stand. Oh, okay. So, where I also hiked to earlier this week. Exactly. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Mustard's must be a cold spring concept. <laughs> Shout out to Mustard's last stand. Yeah, Best hey. hot dogs by Northwest. This is kind of a cool part of the Des Plaines River. We got a goose, a couple of geese. The normal Des Plaines River path is on the other side of the river. You can see the cement wall there. Huh. And the person biking. The person biking. All right, we're just pulling up to Ryerson Cabin. It's at the southernmost part of this hike. Looks like it's boarded up. Check it out, he had electricity. <laughs> Whoa. All right, this tells you a lot about this is less than a hundred years ago. Less than a hundred years. Yeah, this is, you know, basically the construction. And look, he did have power at some point. All right. We were talking about why you would kind of put the cabin in where the river's backing up. We just felt that would be kind of a mosquito opportunity but uh he is much closer to the main part of the river here so maybe there's just good current i don't know it would be a fun place there's like a chandelier still hanging in there See that? All right, you're going in the cabin. Uh, tilt it. Boom, boom. Oh. Let's go all the way in. Oh, excellent. All right, well, we'll be we'll be looking at that. Cool. 360 camera is good for more than one thing. <laughs> How about this? Pretty good perch for us. This 
this is cool. We don't often uh, just sort of do this. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I know this sounds like a small deal, but yeah, the bugs aren't out, so we don't need to worry about ants and whatnot on the tree. But uh, we get to sit out here and quietly watch the river. Suspended over the Des Plaines River. We just passed the Smith Cabin. Smith River Cabin or Smith Cabin? I think you Smith River Cabin actually. And so now we're all along, all alone along the banks of the river. We got another beautiful day. We had to wait for it, but we got it. Yeah. Worth the wait. Yeah. We're coming up toward the end. We've been all along the Plains River, and now it's a straight line up and over. What do you think of the hike so far? It's been nice. I've enjoyed this. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like total wilderness or anything, but it feels controlled. And you know, like we mentioned earlier, like we didn't bring backpacks in and. Not even water, we should have brought water, but point being is like I felt not lost. I felt very just in the know of where I am and able to let loose and just sort of have fun with the nature around me. Uh, so it's nice to have those less intense hikes compared to like last week when it was like one of the most in intense hikes that we've done. Uh, camping in 28 degree weather and in a state that we're unfamiliar with um, with just a lot of unknown variables but this is not that it, it feels like there's there's a lot of maps along the road and there's a lot of bailouts and, and trails uh, that just seem make it all seem very carefree and, and relaxed and enjoyable so that's how I feel what are we up to in terms of distance 4.3 miles. Yeah, okay. 4.3? 3, 3. I'm 4.05. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I guess you did some extra running. Yeah, <laughs> it always. Hey, hey, guys. We're finishing up our hike today at Ryerson Woods. Looks like it's going to be a total of 4.95. We'll call it 5 miles. So we hiked 5 miles today. And uh, I want to tell you quickly about the different paths. So we took a smaller loop on the inside of this conservation area. Started at the parking lot or the welcome center. We moved south uh, and then looped around passing the brushwood cabin or the brushwood center going all the way north to the council ring uh, up to Des, which is right as what we're passing right now, uh, up to the Des Plaines River and then around past the classroom cabins uh, back to the parking lot and then we did a much bigger loop uh, which passed by the Ryerson cabin and the Smith River cabin those are on the southernmost parts of this conservation area uh, looping around and then coming up behind some houses that are off of Riverwoods Road and then all the way back to where we are now the parking lot so I want to say that the inner loop is muddier than the outer loop, which is counterintuitive because the outer loops along the river. It is counterintuitive because the outer loops are around along the river, but at the same time it is intuitive because more people are probably doing this little path, making more footprints. Anyway, so it's muddier on the inside. They have a lot of boardwalk uh, crossings actually all over the area, but there's a lot of boardwalks uh, that help get over that mud. So that's cool and that's fun to walk on and have as a part of your hike. 
and then the outer loop the outer loop is really really beautiful uh calm again going along the des plains river uh so that's always fun and just sort of this shallow water area uh with a with a with a trail that you're hiking on top of and it's a beautiful day today it's very sunny and in Lake County, definitely check this hike out, Ryerson Conservation Area. Where are we off to now? Oh, we're off to go get ourselves some wild pita, because we love wild pita over on Waukegan Road in Glenview. Uh, and what are we also doing? And Getting we're going to vegetables. Jerry's. Yeah, Jerry's. <laughs> we're going to go to Jerry's too, which we love. Jerry's Supermarket in Niles. Uh, Jerry's has the cheapest fresh fruit and ve fresh vegetables uh in in the land so if you're if you're in niles or by niles go to jerry's if you're in glenview go to wild pita these are <laughs> these are spots that that feed us and if you're doing the ryerson wood hike do both there you go because you're already out west that's right all right guys hey we'll catch you again soon peace